Hajima Master. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for coming here to my channel, Compose Music with Santa Margo. I'm going to be wearing my hair piece, my, my, my bandana for a little bit because I'm growing my roots out and it just looks a little messy right now. So my apologies. I'm going to be doing this until it completely grows out and then I'll decide what to do with my hair next. So the computer is working. We now have Logic Pro on there. I need to put in a couple more things to make it work like the AG. I still haven't done it. I've been so busy, folks, with um, Facebook, and it's it. I had to just adjust that. It's it's been a little complicated. I've been super busy with a whole bunch of things going on in my life. Facebook has definitely taken over everything that I've. It's it's draining me. I'm losing hair over it. I'm stressing out because now they have challenges, and the challenges get more complicated and more complex. Like, for instance, it says. You need to have 50 followers in two days. And then it also says your reels need to have at least 1,050 plays, which was this week, this was yesterday. So those are happening on Fridays and Saturdays, which kind of takes away from my whole weekend. And I sort of liked my weekends available, which is why, you know, that's that was the plan. The plan was for me to have at least one day with my husband. And this has sort of taken it away. It's kind of messed it up a little bit. So I don't know, I'm still, this whole Facebook thing, and we still keep going back to it. Anyway, so even though this is not working, we are going to use my phone today. Okay, we're going to use my phone, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and then my speaker. Okay, and then actually I'll go ahead and do that just now. So we're going to use it as GarageBand, and unfortunately, if I'm going to do it on the phone, I would have to transfer it into the iPad in order for it to work uh, a different way. So I'm not going to do that right now. I can always send it over as a wave through my phone, through my phone, through my phone number, and then have it on the, the iPad, of course. So it's going to be, and I, I'm a bit, my apologies for looking a little tired. I am. I am worn out. I am exhausted. I haven't even gone to the gym. It's been that stressful. I am working my hardest on trying to get everything together, but it is just not as easy as it looks, folks. Facebook is just, I don't know. I have to think about this very carefully. So we're going to do GarageBand. Let me just get GarageBand out. Where's my GarageBand? Here it is. So I can show you what I did with another track. I figured out a couple more things. Let's do Children Redone. Okay, so I've... I'm going to put this through my speaker so you guys can hear what I've done here. You know this song? And Dior's joining us, so I can't really get on the, the, the keyboard right now. So I have to kind of work around the situation. Right, Dior? Are you visiting us today? Yeah, he's visiting us today. Yeah, sure. He's visiting us. Hello. Hello, but he's a good boy. Dolce is in her house. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it was done. And I used those. Okay, so now it's, oops, that's Poshmark. And then if you and there are like all these buttons over here, right? I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. Okay, so I do have things going on there. Poshmark, you need to stop. Sorry about the Poshmark. Okay, so you can see over here. Okay, so we're gonna... So you can see it as a loop. Ignore the Poshmark, my apologies. Ignore the Poshmark. You can see it as what you would find as waves on your, when you record. Same type of scenario. And I have added, I put it on silent though. Okay, so the piano became part of the process.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse project this and we're going to just start a new one. Okay, so now there's, okay, so we're going to reverse engineer this. Okay, so if you go like that, so this is a track, that's the piano part. So we're going to start over with the new piece. That's, that's sort of like an out, it's probably requiring me to be on there a little bit more, which is why it does that. Okay, so I'm going to turn, I'm going to close this, we're going to start a new one. I'm going to show you from, if this is not going to be so annoying. Uh, press this button over here. It's like that little cross. You're not going to press any of those. You're going to go straight into a new track. Okay. I don't know how long I can stand here to do this. Okay. We're going to start with a loop. And on Facebook, I've actually been, hold on. Let's hear some drum beats. Okay. Let's use that. Drag it, send. Okay, it's going to open up another one. Too busy. So the same process I would, that's kind of interesting. Where did that go? Ride high bright break. Okay. So we're going to drag that over as well. Okay. We're gonna, no, I don't wanna put it there. Okay, let's delete that. Oh, that's annoying, you can't. So once it's on there, I guess you could, oh, I guess you could do that, okay. And let's go back to the, that was it, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's just, we're gonna keep it simple today. I'm not gonna do any extensive things, but you could actually create, I just tested out, you could actually create your own loop sounds. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do like loop sounds. Um, and then if you go here, look, it, it gives you, okay. so. Sort of similar if you go down to, I mean, I think it's all about trial and error. Sometimes it's easier to figure it out for yourself. You go over here and you can choose, you can select the sounds. And I do like the fact that GarageBand is accessible on the, the phone because if you're doing social media, for instance, like I do, having something accessible on the phone so you can upload tracks and music, make sure it's not copyright, no copyright issues becomes a very big factor. So if you're like a social media fundi, this would become like a big, big deal. This is like important. I mean, Facebook has had so many problems with people and music and why can't we get our songs, our, our videos monetized and all this stuff that I'm like, hey guys, mine are monetized. The reason why mine are monetizing is because I'm not using any of their music. And the ones that I did start off with that were their pieces, I've taken down because I realized that that's just not the approach Facebook wants. They really want original content. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it properly and you're going to learn the ground zero process of doing it and making it happen. Same thing applies for AI. I'm also using AI in my, my reels. But you know, I, I, I say this is AI, please do not like, you know, it's just, it's just how the, how the world is now, you know, that's just, we're, we have to work with the computers, not against them. And the more you work with the computers, the more you become understanding of what's really going on. So it's important. I think both, both ways is necessary. Okay, 
The only problem with the phone, if I'm showing you guys how to do it, is on here is that it's always pulling out something else. Okay. As we were saying, so we're going to do that. We're going to go back to loops. We're going to go to kits. We're going to change it. We're going to change it to synthesizers. Let's see what synths we got. Too busy. That's sort of nice. A lot of the stuff is very like housey, trendy stuff. I mean, that's what I've noticed a lot of the loops are. Uh, I like it because it's sort of like being a DJ, but without being a DJ. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's use that. going to use that as well. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, and this is what, what I mean by creating your own sounds. You might be using loops that they have, um, but you can also create your own individual sounds. I'll show you once you get to the keyboards, once, you, once, I, once I switch over to the keyboard. Or guitar, you can get guitar in here too, or drums or whatever. Okay, let's see. So let's see. We need to add some more stuff. It's that sounds a little off, so we're not going to use that in the end. So let's do. We're going to add another loop. And once you create stuff like this, they can't take you down for anything because it's not like anybody else is doing it. There's no way anybody can create the sounds you're creating by this process. Okay, so this is the underlay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start over again, okay? Okay, so we're going to record. We're going to record this, okay? Start over, record. Okay, just...
Okay, so that's so that's been recorded. I'll, I'll play it again. You can hear what it sounds like as recordings. Okay, uh, we blotched it a little bit, but it's fine. So now it's recording like that. So now, reverse engineering for what I discussed already. We're going to show, okay, that's what it looks like as a wave. So in all honesty, like I've noticed, you don't need, I mean, yeah, you probably do need a desktop, but if you're starting off and you're wanting to explore ideas, the iPad, the iPhone is absolutely fantastic. Hi, Dior. He doesn't like music, right? Okay, so that's basically it. So then it goes on repeats. So what we're going to do now is we're going to choose an instrument. Let's do keyboard because... Okay, so there's a smart keyboard. Um, there's sample sounds. Let's try that smart keyboard. Okay, so let's, let's do... Okay, but what we're going to do is... So we're smarting... These are just chord progressions, right? It's in the key signature that it's already in. What we're going to do now is we need that, okay. And it actually shows you, I like to add the <coughs> <coughs> What we're going to do is compression. So it sort of adjusts it. So this is like a guitar. If you're a guitar player and you don't know how to play the piano, they have they have an example of what you can do. Not sure about that. Uh, let's use this as an example. So we're gonna press play. Okay, so that's the music in the background. going to go back to piano. I think it's C minor. Yeah, it's C minor, okay. I'm going to sit here and use this. It's a bit small. Okay, so we're going to start over. Two, 
too much reverb. Let's try. Okay, I like that. So let's do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to record. Okay, da -da -dum, bum, bum. Now that's just a okay so let's see what we have here we're going to go back into this I just recorded it let's go in here um, it's here somewhere so that's what that is it repeats what you can do is you can do let me see what it looks like on there Oh, it doesn't show on there. Okay, so now we have to go back to that. That's okay. So it wasn't, it didn't make a loop sound. So in, in this case, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to copy and paste it, I think. So this copy, paste. Okay, so you can copy and paste. I'm going to paste again. Paste. Okay, almost the same as, so it just copied the whole thing. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, I, I might take some out, we'll see. Now it's a little bit fuzz, so what we're going to do now is quantize 4-4. Four, four. So we quantize to 4-4. Four, four. And then I'll show you how to take those out.
Okay, so when you quantize it, it's equalizing it to the timing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. I'm going to show you how to edit. This is a sample. We're going to edit. We're going to press edit, right? Edit. Okay, now you can see. Okay, minus all that stuff. You can see you can add, edit the notes. You can edit the notes. It's touch sensitive. It's not like the computer where you have to use the mouse to adjust it. You can literally go in here now and edit. Okay, so let's start over. Okay, so we're going to do da bum. We're going to move that. Let's see. So we're going to just move that. So if you lightly, if you lightly move your finger, it moves the actual, oh, did I mess it up here? What did you see? So I might have to go back and do this. Whoops. So I have to go back and do that. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. So this needs to be adjusted. Make sure it's not highlighted. So if it's not highlighted, then you can move it. But if it's highlighted, you can it shifts. Okay, interesting. So then I just keep, let me just see how many more do I have to do? There are a few more. Okay, I could do this. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to just sit here for a few seconds to adjust these. Not so hard to do. Okay, let's get these together.
Okay, so I think I did it. So I quantized all the... Okay, so that was that's interesting. So it did something you can edit on here, which is useful. I, I still feel it's kind of good to have your phone and test this out if you have an iPhone 12 Pro or higher because it becomes a useful tool and you can actually transfer this straight into Logic, which is what I repeatedly tell people all the time. I don't know if people are doing this from home, but I certainly am using it for Facebook because I feel as if Facebook is that very particular place where they don't want you to use their music but people want music and to be thorough I think people with a musical training background and artistic skills have hands down like they're actually at the top of their game on the platform. It is important and this is coming from my experience because I'm now using all of these skills in my videos for for Facebook. Let me show you an example. I'll just turn I'm going to close this up if I can. An example of a Facebook reel I just did. I do a whole bunch. But let's take this one for example. I just did this one. I'm literally using... I know I'm behind on Facebook today. But I'm literally using, that's not a reel. So we're going to use the reel. We're literally, literally using this. So the way I was showing you guys how it's done. And then I have AI that I'm utilizing for this as well. And I'm still learning, I'm still figuring out the technical side of adjusting the volume. This is a test run. I can't say that this is completed. But because Facebook is very, they want you to do it a certain way. You can't actually record it on a video. You have to record the track separately, put the video up, and then repost it. Yeah. Another example. This is this morning's. So I'm vigorously working on on here. Same way. All my tracks, well, tracks that I'm doing on. And then I'm using AI. You can see the AI. It's probably easier to see it from here. Another one. This is now I'm just adding layers to this very same piece. I think I might have played this, I don't know.
So that's how I'm using these. And so far, I can just show you an example. The reason why I'm doing this is because in order to get your reels up, let me just see where was I? Uh, monetization. This month was pretty shocking. But in order to get the monetization going, and everybody complains about how do I get the reach going and all that stuff, and everybody has all of these, but they neglect, everybody neglects the videos. Those reels are just as important as people who are following you. So in order to get those videos going, I have noticed you either need to create your own sounds, like speaking or whatever, or you, you have to start, you have to start learning how to use a software or a DAW as you would call it in the music industry to help you through this process because you cannot use their music and they will pick up songs that they recognize. For some reason they didn't recognize the song that I just did which is Children. I'll play it just now if I can get Dior off. Um, and yeah that is important. These are important. Okay. That's just the Facebook. So I'm on the professional mode um, performance bonus. And for me, this has become like my lifestyle. This is part of what I do is my music becomes part of my regular routine in how I construct and put things together on any of the platforms. Even the music in the background of the songs, of the, the videos that you see right now on my YouTube, I'm using these pieces that I'm kind of creating. So. And I haven't, it's important. I don't think people realize that learning the basic skills to this kind of stuff is probably useful for our generation. It's just, it's just how it is now, you know? Okay, let's go back to the song. Let's go back to, let's keep adding on. Let's see what we can do with guitar now. We've done editing. We're gonna log out of the editing part. Okay, and then adjust the volume of the... You could probably lower that a little bit, let's see. And you can add voices to and then record it. I don't know. Hear the ocean waves reach into the sky. And just put some words to it. I don't know. You can you can do. Cat is sitting on piano. And just keep going. And you can record the, you can actually record the vocals right on here. Um, I do recommend getting, like I have a mic here. I would recommend getting a small mic and putting it in here to record when you're ready. But this is like, it's just, these are, these are ideas and suggestions and things you can do when, when you're in a silent space and you want portability, you know, this is comfortable if you're going to, I don't know, work on something that you need to move around with, because if you're sitting in one space, sometimes you can't think this might be a good, this might be the good way to think about other things, you know? Okay. Let's go into, let's add another instrument. So let's go do, you can add your own guitar, your own, all this stuff. Let's see what we could do with a, yeah, let's try guitar. Why not? I'm not a guitar player, so I'm going to use Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay. 
So it's an E minor, C minor. Doesn't work. to C minor, minor. Okay, let's see if I'm right, if it's C minor. Could be anything so that's that so let me let me try to get Dior off here let me get can I get you off here and put you over here he's like no I'm sleeping mom I'm sleeping mom can I bother you can I bother you no he's like not no he's okay so let's do this we're gonna sh no I haven't connected that He's like, don't disturb me. Okay, so we're not going to disturb him. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the other piece, uh, my songs. Velocity. 
velocity, you want to adjust that uh, a little bit softer. So velocity is useful because if there are parts that are too loud, you can adjust it. So like the drums are a little loud, you could probably go back and adjust those. Okay, so this piece I cannot claim because this is a piece that the melody is recognizable. It is Children from Robert Miles, something I grew up with in the 80s. So I wouldn't recommend like reusing somebody else's piece that's popular, adding their melody and then putting it in there if it becomes a successful hit. Then you have the original composer on your case, which has happened on so many occasions, it's unbelievable. But small little exercises and projects you can do on your own and, and you revamp it for the purpose of just using it for fun, fine. But if you're going to take it more seriously, you must have original, original. The composition needs to be totally new. Like you cannot do something like this for your own album, for instance. That would be like a no-no. So doing something we did at the beginning of the class is fine. And that's basically it. I guess I, guess I can't get him off today. He's, he's snappling, so it's okay. But he joined us today. He joined us today, right, Tior? Hi. Hi, Sports. Is there something in your eye? No, you're fine. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Matash to sayonara, which is goodbye in Japanese, and jane bye-bye, which is the, the simpler version, as the youth would probably say, in Japan. So today was just a general, like, how, how do I put tracks on my Facebook reels without being problematic to Facebook? And so far, whatever I'm doing seems to be fine. I haven't had any complications recently, as long as it doesn't sound like anything else anybody's doing. Okay, if it has similar types of sounds, that's okay. But it has to be original. So if you're going to create, like, I would recommend just starting from scratch using the loops individually and creating your own sounds. And so far, it's fine. Like, no issues there. And that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. I'll find a clip of Robert, of myself playing Robert Miles quickly on the phone and then um, molding it into the video. Thank you again, and hopefully I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm using my phone. I made the beats on the phone with GarageBand. That's what it looks like, okay? Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's converted into like the loops that you see on production, okay? This is what it sounds like through a speaker, okay? Okay, and now we're going to use it.